given the digits three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Calculate how many five digit codes can be formed using the digits above if the digits may be repeated. So I'm going to teach you this blocky method. My grade 12 teacher was this incredible Afrikaans woman. And she used to call it blockies. Now, I'm not going to say her name. I will protect her identity here. But ma'am, if you are watching this, like, thank you for everything that you've done for me. I really, really appreciate it. It is because of you and your guidance and your assistance that has led me to make these YouTube videos. So we draw up our five little blockies and uns kan no Afrikaans brat. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. Look, she was Afrikaans, but uh, she delivered the lessons in English. And she taught me this method and I'm going to teach it to you guys as well. So calculate how many five digit codes can be formed using the digits above uh, if the digits may be repeated. Okay, so five digit codes. So think of when you enter your phone, if you guys like have that setting on, uh, you got to plug in like five numbers or your bank pins. Um, you know, feel free to like post that uh, in the comments. Now I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't, don't, don't do anything like that. Yo, too, too many jokes, too many anecdotes here. Let me just continue with the video. So in our five blocks, if the digits may be repeated, right? So we have seven digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven possible digits to use in the first place. Seven in the second, seven in the third, seven in the fourth, seven in the fifth. So we always multiply our blockies. So seven times seven times seven times seven times seven. In other words, that's seven to the power of five, which is equal to 16,807 chips, right? Okay, if you thought we're using a factorial, think again. We only use it when the digits may not be repeated. So this is our factorial question. Factorial! I'm, I'm screaming at you because there's, there's an exclamation mark. You know what I mean? Yo, dude, too many jokes in this video. Look, man, if you're watching on earphones, RIP. I'm so sorry. I should have given you a warning. Um... I'll pay for your audiologist bill. No, I'm joking. I'm really not. You're my hustling YouTuber, hey? Yo, tough, tough, tough times are lasting. Okay, 11.1.2, if the digits may not be repeated, again, we use our blockies. Let me show you how to do it. So if the digits may not be repeated, in the first blocky, we can use seven digits. So let's just say we use five. And let's take five out of the equation. And then in our second blocky, we have one, two, three, four, five, six possible digits that we can use. Let's just say for like our blocky number two, we used eight. In our third spot, one, two, three, four, five. And you get the idea, it's decreasing one by one. So seven, six, five, four, three. And our answer is just going to be 2,520. Now, that, that is the answer. You can do it exactly like that. Um, if you insist on using the factorial, this is how you would do it. So it's definitely seven factorial because we have seven possible digits, but two aren't going to be used. There's not a times two and there's no times one either. So the ones that aren't used, two factorial. And if you plug that into your calculator, remember that exclamation mark it is in your calculator, look very carefully, you know, depending on the calculator that you have, you'll still get 2,520. And that's it. I didn't want to end the video like so abruptly there. So like, you know, this is pretty awkward. Um, how do I say bye? I'm not way too good at goodbyes. Don't call me Sam Smith. Okay, bye.